The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Q101, Brian and Kenzie, and congratulations to the Wisconsin State Fair. The new food and beverage they've set, all the stuff they're offering this year, set a record. Ooh, laid on me. 104 new food and beverage options let's at the go. fair. How about it? Do it. Mm, um, mm, mm. Let's go through some of these. Um, you've got some of the things you, you might find typical. I don't know. Is alligator typical? You can eat alligator there uh, at the fair. But how about the atomic slush? It's the world's hottest slushy, apparently. So, hottest? Yeah, so it won't cool you down. It's I got the, Cal- uh, the Carolina Reaper powder. Which the Carolina so it's like a Reaper? Spicy slushy. Yes, but Ooh. the Carolina Reaper, I believe, people are going to come at me. I'm sure, but I think it's one of the hottest peppers in the world. Let me Google what the hottest pepper in the world is. I mean, it's probably going to come up in some other country, but I think the Carolina Reaper pepper is ridiculous. It, correct me if I'm wrong. A three one two five nine one eighty three hundred. I'm a, I'm a chef. I'm a cook. I'm a cooker. <laughs> But I'm no, not the hottest per- pepper in the world is the Carolina Reaper. Look at that. Look, I knew something for a change. I want credit. It's the one that looks like it's been in water too long. It's a little wrinkly. Yeah. It's like a raisin. Oh, and they have that in the slushy. There's top of whipped cream, spicy caramel sauce, and spicy candy pieces. I wonder if you needed to make everything else spicy. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe the other things could have been a break. It would have been okay. So, uh, like, jalapeno whipped cream. I was like, okay. I'm gonna- <laughs> and you'll be shot with a flamethrower when you pay for it. <laughs> Uh, they have uh, bacon cheddar bubble waffle. Mm. It, it looks great. I don't know if you're on the website. I'll, it's, it's just with uh, wisstatefair.com and the fair foods. Mm. A beer battered corn dog dipped in hot Wisconsin cheddar. That mm. sounds kind of normal. Beer cheese, a Wisconsin lava cake. Beer cheese cake? Beer cheese cake. This is what I want to try. Okay. A brat and kraut cheese curd taco. Kraut. Brat and kraut cheese curd taco. So it's a... I don't get it. Okay, so... How do you do it? uh, So you've got a Johnsonville brat, cheddar cheese, curds, sauerkraut, topped it with beer and brat mustard, all in a fried flour tortilla. Holy crap. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah. Want to go? Duh. duh. You think I'm not going to go to this? Uh, Here's the weird thing. They have a bug brownie on a stick. Ew. They have a lot of bug deals. No. Uh, um, So crunchy and nutty. It's crunchy and nutty tasting uh, bugs. No. On a chocolate brownie. Mm-mm. No? No. There's also bug chow mein. No. Okay, none of that. All right, we'll get back to the regular I know some stuff. people like that, and that's fine. I'm just not going to eat it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It's supposed to be good protein. Like, bugs are great protein. It's not my concern for the day. <laughs> no, like, did I get enough protein? Uh, okay, how about this? Here's one for you. Cotton candy jerky. What? Yeah, so it's... Uh, I jer- love cotton candy. The sweet, salty jerky, but it's got cotton candy melted in with it somehow, Ooh. and it's, it's going to taste, uh, well, it's going to taste delicious, I imagine. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. There's a lot on here. There's deep fried bacon cheese curds. That's a normal, I think, for the you Wisconsin State Fair. You know what a State great Fair. job would be? Tasting all this stuff, trying well, it out? somebody has to make the decision of what gets in. So you guys sit around and taste test all of it. They don't just let everybody in. Well, at 104, they might have let everybody in. I don't know. No. 140 things. When I lived in Minnesota, which is the largest state fair, it's numero uno. It's huge, yeah. okay? When I lived there, I, there was a waiting list. Like, I knew a girl who finally got in the state fair. She had been waiting for 15 years. She had her food cart on what? the list. Yes. Was it good? Yeah. What was it? She did, um, what was she? I think she was like an empanada. Oh. I think she was empanadas. You can put anything in an empanada. It's always better. Empanadas. Oh. So good. Um, here's one more we'll do. Uh, deep fried garlic gator toes. Gator toes? Alligator toes deep fried with garlic. I, I, I think I'd want the rest of their body. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Q101, Brian and Kenzie. And yesterday, right at this time, got an interesting debate about... Dark mode and light mode on your phone. Who's using it? Now, I'm a light mode guy. Much better that you said that today. Yeah, yes, I, did. I thought it was white mode. <laughs> I, just, I want my job, Brian. <laughs> so, uh, listen, I've always wanted to fully commit to dark mode on the phone because I love it when you put it on, but I can't do it too long because I get a little nervous. I go, like, oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't make this leap in life. You know, I can't do it. I thought I could, but I couldn't. I can't. So I stay in light mode. And... Case the producer made a point saying he thinks that the majority of our listeners are in dark mode on their phone. I'm in dark mode. Yeah, that's what started it because Kenzie did it a bothers screenshot. My eyes. She did a screenshot of her battery life on how many uh, the batteries and her apps are using. You know how much power it's using on your phone, and that's why I said dark mode. What are you doing? We did a poll. The poll's over. The Twitter poll at Q101's Twitter page says 
28.2% of you all, y'all, are like me and in light mode. Wow. That means 71.8% are in dark mode. Yeah, baby. Welcome to the dark side. I don't know. I want to make the commitment. I want to try it and keep it for a week. And I, will I be okay then after a it's week? It's just, it's literally not that hard. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's just, because I, I feel like I can't see everything right in dark mode. Stuff's hiding from me. No, it's not. It's just a dark screen instead of a light you one. You look so frustrated with me right because now. Because the fact that you're still contemplating this 24 hours later <laughs> is so annoying. <laughs> is it just, that bad? Is it really that bad or you just want to go home? I mean, just... Just do it or don't and just see what happens. That's so, what I that's what I don't get is you're like, oh, I can't commit to this. Why how could you put that much thought into it? Either do it or don't, uh, like Kenzie said. Because I like it when I see it, but then I go, oh but then I feel like I'm I'm using somebody else's phone for a minute or something. Okay, well it just then feels don't dirty. do it. Then just move on with your life. Why would you ever spend another second thinking about this? Because I want to be one of the cool kids. Well, that's well, not gonna happen, Brian. I, it's gonna take a couple more steps. Yeah. My whole life, I've wanted to be one of the cool kids, yeah. and maybe everybody's doing dark mode. No, oh, you're gonna get hazed again. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna haze you. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. Dark mode, light mode. We're very inclusive here with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We accept all. Famously. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. It's Q101. Lauren is coming in to take you through the rest of this kind of gloomy Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow, ticket puts Thursday, 8 o'clock. Make sure you're with us. We'll have more free tickets for you for amazing concerts. Uh, takeaways from today's show with Brian and Kenzie. 312-591-8300. Just text in your takeaway. Kenzie, what do you got? Your microphone is off. What happened here? Oh, my God. This is weird. Uh, something happened where it switched off your microphone. Can you grab the microphone next to you over there just for now? I can't do it. We have a tech problem here. I'm sorry. Uh, something weird happened. Is that one better? Is this good? That's better. She to get up and stand from her heated seat, her heated throne. Well, now I'm just going to be pissy. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. We just had a weird tech problem here, okay? Um, but anyway, we're done with the show, so it doesn't matter. I'm out Ta- anyways. Takeaways. Uh, Brian seems to think that having his phone on dark mode will make him one of the cool kids. That's how it came in from Eric. It's to just take a few more steps than mm-hmm. that. That's all. Alex, the gar- our garbage man, checked in. The only facials Kenzie wants are the ones she's paying for. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya texted in, new morning show, Caddy Hadaddy. Kelsey and Chad in the morning. Oh, oh that sounds fair. Uh, we'll take it, yeah. Anything else on your end? Well, I can't get the microphone to reach over to click on the text, so oh, that's all I'm I am. sorry. How about this one? Oh, another Chad one. Armored Truck Dog. We'll finish with this. Takeaway. Chad didn't get it because being a Chad means being awesome. That's why your couch kept calling you Chad. Uh, coach, actually, not couch. Sorry oh. there. Case's coach called him Chad instead of Case, and Case had to go to therapy over that. Which just seemed... I just... You know, there's people in line, like, trying to get to the therapist who had just been, like, abused. And yeah. he's like, well, someone call me Chad. <laughs> well, you miss a moment, you miss a lot. Go to the podcast and find out what all these conversations meant. Tomorrow, we'll talk to you. Love you. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.